it's Randy, Dunhorse Descendant. I'm here today with our second video of the Bargain Bead Box mini series. This is the plan video. This is usually our most viewed video, so yay for that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We do this every month where we do the mini series for Bargain Bead Box. This month, January, we are working with a Galaxy of Gems, and that is the name of the Bargain Bead Box for. January 2024. So this is the first first round of beads from them this year. I'm super excited. So in Hootie, we're going to do a plan. And then after the plan comes out, we will do projects for everything that we plan out in the plan video. So if you've not been around before or if you're new here, what I do is I'm just going to create a little uh, design in my design book. Uh, I'll just show you the end product of that because otherwise it takes forever to show you everything I'm trying to do. <laughs> but um, so we're gonna do that. And then for each project, we will do a corresponding video. Those will come out over the next couple of weeks, week, whatever, whatever, however long it takes. Honestly, I kind of got a little idea for this. So I don't really foresee it taking that long because, and I'll show you as we get down to the plan. So let's jump down to the mat and get this party started. All right, peoples, party peoples, here we are down on the mat. So this is everything that came in the box this month. And it's very cute, well, very gemstone heavy, which is super wonderful. Um, I believe they said that the, I think the total value on this was over $100. I believe it was like $104 or something to that effect so smash and deal uh if you are new here bargain bead box is a bead subscription and i have linked in the description box um that if you have not gotten involved with bargain bead box and you want to i put our referral code down there so for every three people who sign up we get a free box to use on the youtube channel which is super awesome if you use that link to get to their website also uh we do have a two dollar off coupon code the code is Thunderhorse86 if you are making your first installment to the subscription. So that is super awesome for you. Save some coins. Anyways, um, we're going to get going on making this plan and then we will make plan and plan out all our projects. And over the course of time, we will have uh, all those projects coming out in this playlist. So super fun. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? <clears throat> so, all right. So just so you know, if you're new, this is like kind of a design on the fly situation that I'm doing right here. But when I open this box, I do feel like this box was more kind of, like I get the gist, they want you to use one bead from each to make like a bracelet or something. Like that seems like, you know, a little more, uh, themey than it's been in the past I guess you don't have to do that um because my thought was why make one bracelet when you could just make a stack <laughs> that's my theory so that's what I want to do now I will say that I think we could spare one bead from each of these to do that um galaxy situation that they want to do so let's go ahead and let's grab a bead from each and we will we will do that. So now I've taken them all out of the bags. So you know it might just be easier for me to grab the actual bag. Okay so let's do it like this. So this one is the uh, representing Earth, and this one is Lapis and Cressicola, so that's these guys. So I'm going to take one bead off, and I'm going to put it in this little guy here. Because I'm going to have to cut into all of them. Alright. So now, for the rest of this, I'm going to make a stack of bracelets, okay? That's my other plan that I got going on. I want to make a stack of bracelets. So I'm just going to put them back into their little baggie. Okay. Uh, carnelian. 
So in essence, we're, we're actually planning out two projects here. So this is for one project, and then this one is for another project. Although I think I'll make these stretch bracelets and all of them will be, I'll do them all in one video. That is after I drop them all over the place. I dropped one. I seen it fly over here right now. There it is. Alright. Oh, that one went on the floor. Here's the aqua blue. I'll have to pick that one up off the floor once we're done. FYI, Thunder Horse Senate is a working studio, so if you're hearing some commotion, um, Shannon and Phyllis are both upstairs doing work things, so that's just work happening. Don't worry about that. Here we have the tiger skin. This one is to represent Saturn, so we are going to need a ring to go around it. So now, they said some of these beads might not fit in the ring, so let me see if this one I took off is going to fit. Oh, if I wasn't a ball head pin, where would I be? That would be right here in the drawer where I'm supposed to be at. One. This one I can already tell doesn't really feel like it's nothing. I'm gonna have to go with a different one. Let me just take these off of here. Okay, that one looks like it's going to fit. Ooh, the camera is not focusing. Okay, <laughs> that one looks like it's going to fit, so I'm going to go ahead and use it, and I'll put that in here. Um, I'm going to put the rest of these rings in with this bracelet as well, because these are supposed to be representing Saturn. Okay, then what else we got? Uh, we have Larvikite, which is representative of Mercury. That is this one. So I'm just going to make one of these. If you decide you want to make more, that's completely up to you. As far as like, you know, you could make quite a few out of all of these beads. You want to have a whole solar system full of business. I'm just going to make one. Okay, uh, this one is to represent the moon. This is supposed to be the faceted labradorite. Now, uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, I can make a bracelet out of this as well. We shall see. Maybe I will use that for my pendant or something. I'm going to put this one here. Then we have Jupiter, the striped agate. You know, it's interesting that they would use the striped agate for Jupiter since Jupiter was originally the smallest uh, planet in the solar system. Not Jupiter. Sorry, I'm thinking of Pluto. Never mind. Never mind. Apparently they know what they're doing. Okay. 
goes here. Neptune, Sodalite. Holy Hannah, they're just flying everywhere. I'm going to use this one just for, just for fun. Just for fun, just for fun. Alrighty, on to, let's see, Venus, the crackle glass. Now I do, I, again, I really love this crackle glass, just to be honest with you. I love it. Get the crackle glass in there. Alright, then let's see what do we have. This blue goldstone is just supposed to represent outer space. So, I'm thinking this is going to be the, uh, the wraparound part of our bracelet, because why not? So, I'm just going to cut this in half, and we will use half for, uh, well, we don't really need a whole half. We can do a little less than half, because we're just going to do the back side of the bracelet. So I'm going to put this into a little baggie, without spilling it everywhere. I'm quite spilly these days. And we will put this in over here, and then this half we will use for a different project. then these are supposed to be meteors and these are supposed to just be stars so they don't have any planet association with them I'm gonna zoom you in a little more now so we don't have to worry about that so <clears throat> I mean you could put them in here if you want I mean why not we're doing it okay so we'll put put we'll put one meteor and I'm just going to take these off here because otherwise they're all going to come flying around. Well, maybe we'll put, maybe we'll have enough space for two meteors. We'll never know. star to let's, let's, let's do three three stars and the rest of these we will use for another project draw out, I'm going to draw this up for you, my design, with all of these beads. So we have one of each represented planet, a couple of meteors, a couple of stars, we got uh, the blue goldstone for the back half of the bracelet, and then one of the rings of Saturn. So that's what we have for all of this, and this will be a bracelet. Now it could be a stretchy bracelet, or it could be a wire-wrapped bracelet, or I'm sorry, a uh, 
like a strong bracelet. So I'm going to draw it out and then I'll be back to show you my end product. Here we are guys back down on the mat. So this is my little drawing. Basically this is just going to be one um, stretch bracelet and with this, every one of the beads representing a part of the solar system. These are going to be our little meteors or our little stars. I probably won't have that many because I think I only put five and there's 13 count here in my design. But whatever, we're, <laughs> we're just going to have, you know, some, some of them will be spaced. I can throw in a couple more little meteors or something. And then this back part is going to be all blue goldstone and it'll be on Ilonga cord. Um, and it'll be a stretch bracelet. So this is project number one and I have all that in here minus the stretch cord. Uh, I'm going to put a few more of the meteor lava rocks in there just to give us that number we want. And this is project number one. There we go. One solar system. Let me get this out of my way. One solar system project ready to go. Bracelet. Okay. Now we are on to project number two. Now project number two is going to be pretty easy. We are going to take and we are going to turn each of these into a stretch bracelet to create a solar system stack. Now these could be sold as a as separate or they could be sold all together. Um, I just feel like these are items that would probably sell up really quickly, say at like a craft show. You can market them as being each planet, right? Like this one you could market as representation of Mars since it is for Mars. Um, so we're going to make all of these into stretch bracelets and we'll make a stack. There should be, what, nine? nine yeah so there's well technically there's eight technically there's eight planets because Pluto isn't a planet anymore um, and this blue goldstone is not actually representative of a planet it is representative of outer space so we could use this as uh, you know maybe we could put this in with our other little guys and use this for something else but I don't know. I mean, I, I feel comfortable with nine. <laughs> so here we go. Now, on all of our stretch bracelets, so they're going to be just plain if we just leave them like that, but we're not going to do that, okay? No fear. What we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle in a few of these gold spacers into each to give them a little va va voom, right? And also, I'm going to take off these charms off of these uh, little guys right here, and we're going to utilize those in our stack of bracelets. So, let's see. Easily removable, easily removable. So there we go. Now, you could also use, um, well, I was going to say, oh, maybe I wanted to use these to make some earrings, but we have those other stars. So I'm not worried about it. So, and we will just add these on to a couple of our bracelets. So, if you could envision you're wearing all these bracelets, maybe you're wearing some on each side, or maybe you're wearing one at a time, right? Um, some have charms and some don't. Some have dangly bits and some don't. And, uh, when you have them all stacked up, that looks really cute, right? So that's what I'm going to do with that. So we have four charms, and I'm just going to put them in here with these. In addition to the charms, we'll also have these spaced out throughout the bracelets to kind of give them a little bit of something. All right, and then let me just grab a couple. Let's see what we got here. Let's grab, yeah, I'm, I think I got to use those as earrings because I just, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing I got to do. So 
um, maybe we grab up a few of these lava rocks, right? We could use these as little charms. I don't know that I would put these into the bracelets because I would want them to be a little bit uniform, but I could wrap up a few of these on each and make a little charm, right? So I'll put a few in there. And then that should probably be good for our, for our stack. Now, if you had something that you absolutely wanted to add into these bracelets, more charms or, you know, different things, you absolutely could do that. I'm just going to use these because this is what was provided. And sometimes I like to just use what was provided um, so that because some people don't have those other things, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this out and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, here we are. I am back with project two. This is my solar system stack on a long accord. So this is representing all of the rest of the gemstone beads that we will then make into their individual bracelet that can either be worn together, stacked, or sold separately based on the actual gemstone of the bracelet. So I'm going to do these on a long accord, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my uh, acclaimed crafts bead board to make sure that I can make them all the same size when we do this project. So that's going to be smashing because they... These beads do vary in size from 10 millimeter, I think down to six. I think these lava kite are six. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then we'll add in the little gold spacers. These are representing the moons and stars. So as you can see, when they're worn together, they'll hang down in front of the others. Looks super cute. But if you had charms you wanted to add, by all means, do whatever you gotta do. Um, also for this, we'll also need a little smidge of glue, but other than that, it's pretty easy, simple project. And although we will be making, I think it's like nine bracelets, uh, it shouldn't really take that long to be quite honest with you. Once you get going on the Alonga stretch cord bracelet making endeavors, it's pretty easy. So this is going to be project two. I plan to do them all in one video. Now we're going to move on to project three. Well, I should probably put them all in a bag, but for right now, I'm just going to move them all away. All right, so here's what we have left, uh, which is, doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually is, because there's quite a few um, little beads in here, and my plan for these is I want to make some cute little smashing earrings. So these are the... Uh, three millimeter labradorite faceted round beads. So uh, these guys here, I'm going to use now, <coughs> excuse me. I am going to utilize up some of this stuff and make some super smash and dangly business. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. These will be cute as earring findings. You know, I think I might just use both. I could make two separate sets, and I can either make them the same or I can make them different. Um, I think. Let's see how many stars I actually have here. So I got some large stars, some small stars, some large stars, some small stars. And I have these left. Okay. Okay. So I can I can jump ring so here's a couple of things. You could jump ring these on and just use gold, right? We just had that 18 karat gold um, box that I put away yesterday. I could just jump ring these on and just do gold and have a lovely time. Okay, so maybe we'll do one like that because why not? We're doing options. So we could do that for that one. And then for this one, we could do where we could wire wrap uh, beads in between. Add a few beads on here. Um, kind of jazz it up a little bit. That could be cute as well, so we'll do that. 
since we're on the earring doings, uh, I'm just going to do these two for project number three, and then we'll move into some different ones. So let me write this down. All right, so for project three, it's really simple. So these ones are just them just jumpering together. And for these ones, we will add just like, two beads to each. Make it, keep it simple. Keep, we could add three, I guess, if we want to put one here. We're going to add six beads uh, to these, to this basic same design, which will be cute. I mean, it's always cute to add a gemstone. So we'll just make these. They'll be really super simple and easy. So I'm going to put those in the bag. And that's just a few beads. There we go. And then on to project number four. So we still have, oh, I think this one goes in there. So we still have these little guys and I did kind of want to keep a couple out here because I do want to do um, just a couple simple little cute necklaces. So um, these two pendants uh, will basically have the same chain design, um, but I'm going to take this chain and I'm just going to cut it in half. Um, I was just thinking to myself, I don't think that they, oh yeah, they sent these. Okay, we might be able to get away with this, maybe. Get the cutter out. I'm just going to cut this right here. So we now have two chains. One for each necklace. And we should be able to also do this in one video. It's not hard to do. So I'm going to take one of the larger stars, one of the smaller stars. One of the larger stars, one of the smaller stars. And we're going to work these into the chains of each of these necklaces. Now, I am not going to use these just simply because I, I probably could use them on here, but I don't want the chain to get stuck to this right so I will probably replace with a different um, a different clasp of my choosing okay so now we could add depending on which way you want to go we could add maybe we add a sparkly over here maybe we add like three sparkles to this guy and because this one already has blue Let's add a few of these guys. We'll just add three. Okay. So we could do this a couple of different ways. It kind of depends on how I feel that day. When we're linking these in, we could wrap the beads in with it into the chain, right? Super cute on one side. Or we could add a few more beads on this one and do one, two, two different sides. I'll add a few more beads just to see how we're feeling that day. Okay, so I got six beads for that. And then that's it. They're just cute little simple little pendants. Easy peasy. They will need a few, uh, they will need some findings. And, uh, but the other than that, they should be good to rock. Honestly, I'll probably keep those for myself. I don't know. <laughs> Let me write it down <clears throat> so I can remember project number four. All right, guys. Super easy and simple. These are project number four. We'll be able to whip both of these up in um, the same video. I think they're super cute. They're pretty, for the most part, pretty just simple and um, wearable. And that's the important part, right? 
uh, to be wearable. So I think these are um, a good a good choice for these. So I'm going to go with this. This is going to be project number four. I'm drinking afternoon coffee, you guys. Gotta bear with me. It's getting cold, though. It's getting cold. Okay. And then lastly, we have these items left. And you could do a lot a lot with this. You, you really could. You could do a whole bunch of things. But I think what we should do is let's just make these into... Um, like a small, just a little, small, little, just beaded necklace, just stringing, right? This is not enough for a necklace, because uh, we've used some, and originally it was only 15 inches to begin with. Um, but we could add in some of these crystals and some of these lob rock, what we have left. Uh, we could even color block if we wanted to. I don't know how I feel about that with this particular situation. Um, I might do maybe the one, two, three pattern thing that I like to do uh, that I read in the book the other day is actually a thing. So I'm super excited about that. But uh, it is going to need metal. Now, this box originally came with gold. You don't have to use gold. You can use whatever color you want. So I think upon choosing a color, uh, just based on the colors I have in front of me, I would probably go with a, like a red bronze or a vintage copper, to be honest with you. Um, I'll reach behind me and see if I got that, and we'll go from there. Just a little bit of metal of some kind. It okay, I got this. I got this in the red bronze. It's... it's it's pretty sparkly, but any metal would really work. I'm looking to see if I have something a little less, you know. I have these little rope spacers. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw both of those in and we'll see where we're at. We'll see where we land when I decide to actually make this. I'm going to get a bigger bag here. There's never a bigger bag when you need one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know that I'll go with both of these, but when the time comes, I'll probably have to choose one or the other because I do want it to stay small. These are, what, a three, and those are a four. Most are three and four, so I don't know. I don't want to get too crazy town. But this is kind of our ending project, our kind of catch-all project for that and what is that project number five yeah five so project five and since I'm just doing a strong necklace I'm just gonna say I'm doing a strong necklace one two three pattern choose one of the metals. I will make this probably on some fine soft flex, soft flex, fine beading wear, and it will need findings. There we go. Project number five. That is all she wrote, party peeps, for um, the plans. Let me zoom you out. Let me just zoom you on out. Okay, so we have the actual Galaxy bracelet, which, by the way, you could wear in the stack. You have the stack. You have two pairs of lovely earrings in the, is it 18 or 24 karat gold plated? It's going to be super cute. You have the two very simple minimalistic necklaces, but very wearable necklaces. Pendants, I'd say. And then one little catch-all strung necklace, and that is everything in the box. Every bead planned up. So, 
there we go we will start working on I say we like it's more than me me I'm gonna start working on this if you want to work on it too that's fine um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna start working on this uh, tomorrow on my projects so I'll probably start working on them tomorrow tomorrow is Friday and I am going to the bead store as I do on Fridays but um, you know over the weekend I hope to get a couple of videos done and stuff like that so in beauty I hope you all have a lovely spectacular amazing beading day I invite all of you to come to our Facebook group and to share what you are making with your bargain bead box in the Thunder Horse Descendant Facebook group you are gonna say hashtag what's on my mat today right that's the hashtag what's on my mat today and you're going to just share about your stuff uh we would love to support you and i hope that you guys are having a smashing day and i will see you in the next one Bye bye